Hey, before we start the show today, just want to let you guys know, hey, Big Pat Sports Talk and the show of New York Giants Full Access is officially sponsored by Giant Social. Giant Social is a site, social media site that you can go on and see all type of content creators in the New York Giants content sphere where you can get my show, Talking Giants, anybody that wants to post Giants content on on this giant social media platform like to thank you guys for partnering partnering with big pat sports talk and new york giants for access major announcement wanted to get this out to you guys thank you guys for your support and thank you giant social for doing business with your boy check them out and then we're gonna get into the show peace it's that time the 2023 new york Giants season is right here this year, expectations are higher than ever. And just a tie for a season that belongs to us, GiantSocial.com has arrived. The first all-Giant social media site for Big Blue. If you're a Giants fan or a Giants content creator, this is your home for all things Big Blue under one place. Our news, our way, for our fans. With the best Giants content from your favorite Giants content creators. Giant Social is for the fans, by the fans. This is the season we've waited for. Do you believe in the New York football Giants? Then it starts right now. Giants fans, sign up. Let's go. Add it to the cart, and we got you. And that's it, man. Go purchase Big Pass Sports Talk merch. And support the family, man. And welcome to Big Pass Sports Talk. Thank you for your support. What's going on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? Welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access with your boy Big Pass Sports Talk. And we talk of some more training camp talk today. Uh, you know, we give our uh, reviews of training camp. And some things that happened today. Um, first and foremost, shout out to the New York Giants. They are all improving. I have to give props. What props is due, they're all improving. Um, I think this team is going to play very well this season. Um, I think they're going to play so well that we're going to lose some players that we think that are very good players. A player like a Colin Johnson may <laughs> – fall off the roster that a lot of people think that's pretty good player like uh slot receivers uh, uh cole beasley shepherd oh, i forgot the other guy we signed but all three of those guys they're fighting pra- probably for one position because you know wandell robinson is gonna hold down one of those slot re- positions when he comes off the puck Got a guy, undrafted free agent, and I think that's very talented. And I know if we put him on a practice squad, he will not survive there. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Uh, we waived just Jeff Smith today, so he might have a chance to be that gunner on this team. Who knows? Um, there, there, there's plenty of players that we might release that we feel that could be good. Lawrence Cager. Will we keep three tight ends? I don't know. Gary Brightwell, running backs. Ja'Shawn Corbin, running back. We got a lot of running backs here. We got James Robinson here, Breida, Eric Gray, Barkley, now now Brightwell. All those guys, they're fighting for a position. So, I mean, this 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 camp is this camp is turning out to be pretty pretty doggone good. But let's talk about the main thing that was uh going on with the Training cap practice today. I believe they were in pads again today. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But it was the uh, lineman drills one-on-one again today. Um, we're going to start with uh, our rookie, JMS. From the reports, he was pretty dominant today against anybody that was not named Dexter Lawrence. Um, Dexter Lawrence, you know, gave him a couple of more moves today. Uh I'm not going to harp on JMS because he's losing out to an all-pro. I can't do that. A lot of people, Dexter Lawrence, has put on their behinds. 
he hasn't been put on his behind yet, but he has been ripped and dipped and just force pushed back into the quarterback uh, by Dexter Lawrence. But other, they saying other than Dexter Lawrence, if your name is not Sexy Dexy, JMS is putting hands on you, and that's what I want to hear. If you're not an all pro, you're not beating my center. And this is just his rookie year. So by his second or third year, even if you're all pro, he might be an all pro too going right back at you. Especially going against Dexter Lawrence day in and day out in practice, day in and day out in training camps. I mean, he has no choice but to get better. Either get better or get whooped. And um, Dexter Lawrence is not taking it easy on him which I appreciate from a veteran. Um, he's getting JMS ready for the season, ready for those beast defensive tackles over here in the NFC East. And I can't wait. Um, another guy that was featured today, um, Mr. Ben Bredesen. Now, Ben Bredesen, who a lot of people uh, really don't want on this team, when you speak to a lot of people, uh, they really feel that he shouldn't be starting anywhere on this offensive line. A lot of people got to remember this man is only 25 years old. He's still a young man. And I know a lot of people think that he's he might be 30 some cuz we traded for him. But that might be an underrated trade by old Dave Gettleman. A lot of people don't want to hear that name. Uh back in his tenure. Ben Bredesen's only 25 years old and uh, I believe he's coming into his own at starting at that left guard position. Um is a battle between him and Azudu and as far as performance going through camp so far, Ben Bredesen has been outperforming Zudu in my mind. But the thing is, the next guy I'm going to talk about is Glowinski. They have been switching Bredesen over to right guard and letting Zudu play left guard. Is Glowinski's job in, in, in jeopardy? I don't think it is, but if he doesn't play well, he can be – Replaced by Ben Bredesen because Ben Bredesen can play left guard, right guard, or center. He's one of those guys that can play multiple positions. And that's what Joe Shane and Brian Dabo love, guys that can play multi-positions or multifaceted. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, what the guards do in training camp so far. Uh, Zudu, he has a lot of technique to work on right now. Um, would I trust him being at the left guard in the beginning of the season? I have to see a little bit more. I want to see him go against somebody different because Leo is a monster. So let's see if he could go. Let's see in this preseason game he goes against the Lions and that monster of a defensive tackle that we created in that game and see if he can hold his own, see if JMS can hold his own, see if Ben Bredesen can hold his own or Glowinski. That that inside of the, the interior of our offensive line, it's definitely going to be on my radar going into these preseason games. I got to know who my quarterback can depend on, keeping people out out of his face. So I'm definitely looking at that. Now, uh, there's some uh, news on our right tackle, our second-year right tackle, Evan Neal. Uh, he walked off the field, looked like he was a little injured. Um, it turns out the fact that he has a concussion – and we'll be in concussion protocol. So, uh, is this he might practice next week? I don't know uh, how severe the injury is. They said he looked okay uh, after practice. So, hopefully, he can get some reps against the Lions um, and see what he can do against uh, maybe Aiden Hutchinson uh, for a couple of plays. Who knows? Um, but as far as before he got his concussion, he did. Have some very good reps against Ojolari. Uh, had a very good rep against Thibodeau. He still needs to work on inside moves. When a guy is trying to beat him to the outside and he does a move to get back to the inside, Evan Neal is looking like he's having a lot of trouble with that. So when it comes to this season, if he does not fix that, he will have some problems with getting some veterans that know how to use moves to counteract getting washed out behind the quarterback everybody's not just going to run and try to run around you Evan Neal you're going to have to learn that this this hand combat thing with the lineman is serious if they see that you're very good that you're good enough now to watch them out when they're trying to rush the passer just with a speed rush they're going to start using those spin moves they're going to start doing those basically those crossover moves 
fake like they're going to the outside with the speed rush and turn back to the inside. And they can have you on the ground, on the floor, looking up at the sky again this year. So, yeah, he's going to have to watch that. Um, I'm definitely watching this offensive line. The defensive line, I'm not worried about. You got, we got so much talent on the defensive line. They're going to have to get in where they fit in. We're going to probably lose a defensive tackle or two that's very talented. Probably going to lose an outside linebacker that's kind of talented. Um, to my Fox, he's going to have to step up his game. Every rep that I see is, like, too easy for the lineman. Every rep that I see with him, O'Shane Zimenez is at the very least giving effort. Uh, to my Fox, I'm going to have to see a lot more. Uh, I, I want to see a lot more from our backup edge rushers. Or we're going to have to sign somebody, bring somebody in here. But backup edge rusher is definitely a, a position of need for this team moving forward because um, Tamar Fox and O'Shane Zimenez are just not doing it for me right now with the reps that they're giving. Um, although O'Shane Zimenez is giving effort, I will give him that. Unfortunately, Ellison Smith is waived because he couldn't stay healthy. Uh, Tamar Fox, undrafted free agent, very young, but he's going to have to give us something. Um, every rep that I've seen him do, he's he's been getting blasted. But I have to go to, go and check to see if I can get some more film of that. Um, I'm not worried about our defensive tackles. I'm not worried about our DBs. I want to see them in action against the Lions receiving core in this preseason game. That will be called right here with the Big Blue Crew. Um, this, Not this Friday, but the Friday coming up after this Friday. Uh, we'll be calling on one of our channels. But as far as training camp goes, I give training camp today, I give it an A. I got to see some linemen go against some defensive linemen, and I'm, I'm very impressed with what they're doing on the left tackle, right tackle, and center. Those two guards' positions are up in the air and in flux. I like Ben Bredesen at left guard, but Glowinski and Zudo, I need to see a little bit more. So that's my take on training camp today. I think it was a, a, another day in pads, offensive line versus defensive line. That was that was pretty much on the forefront. Uh, Paris Campbell making a couple of plays. He got a touchdown. Slayton got a touchdown. Offense did a couple of things, but it was it was in the trenches today. And I'm very impressed with my offensive line so far. We need those guard positions shored up. I'm impressed with JMS until he goes against Dexter Lawrence. <laughs> But, hey, that's nothing to sneeze at. Dexter Lawrence is a completely different monster. He's on another level. So, you know, it's going to take some time to try to contain that monster. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that big blue join button. The Talk Your Talk with Big Passports Talk. And join the big blue crew because you know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what you thought. And this has been your training camp, Giants training camp report right here on New York Giants Full Access with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. And until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace. This is a Big Blue Crew production.